guys, today I'm back to film my August favorites. Um, I don't know why, it just feels weird to say August and I feel like I always make a comment about that every month about how I can't believe how fast everything's going, but it really did. Like, I feel like it was August and then all of a sudden it was the middle of August and now it's the end and I'm like, where did the time go? Um, but I'm actually kind of happy it is because like I said, lots of big kind of life changes. My son is going back to school. I'm transferring jobs. That stuff's all happening in September. So I am glad to just get that started and going because I just want to be back into our like normal routine. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm a routine person. I like that kind of thing. So I'm excited to be back into a routine. But anyways, on to my favorites. Um, and my favorites, I do have a unfavorite and I don't really have any honorable mentions this month. I did purchase a couple new things. I might talk about them at the end. That's usually what my honorable mentions are, are new products that I'm really enjoying, but I don't want to necessarily include them in a favorites just because I haven't been using them that long. So I'm actually going to start off right away with a hair product. This, I'm going to probably pronounce it wrong, but I'm going to try. It is the Orfleto Hair Elixir. As you can see, I've used up quite a bit of this, um, and it's quite pricey too. I want to say it is like around $30 for like a bottle, um, but my Ulta, of course, we did a hair, we call it a reflow, but basically it is when your brands that you carry, they sometimes move around, you get new ones in, you get discontinued ones. This was one of the ones that we discontinued in our store, um, but Birchbox does carry it, and I think I've actually, no, I thought I got this as a Birchbox sample before, but no, it was a different oil. Um, but anyways, I bought this, didn't really love it, um, I did a couple of the different things with it. I've used it like a lot of people use hair oils and I put it on the, just the ends of my hair when it's wet, on the ends of my hair when it's dry. Um, I one time did like an oil treatment with it where I just saturated my hair with this, let it sit on for I think like an hour or something like that and then just hopped in the shower and I just really wasn't in love with any way that I've used it. I don't know if it was a combination of products that I was using or what, but then the last couple of weeks I've just been using this and a little bit of volumizing foam at my roots. Um, that's kind of the main combo that I do with this. There is another hair combo I've been doing this month, but it's it doesn't involve this. So anyways, I will just do a little bit of volumizing mousse at my roots, um, <laughs> and then I will put this on the ends, and it has been super, super soft. Like... I can't believe that it's my hair almost soft. Like, it has just been ridiculous. Um, I don't really use it too much when my hair is dry, just because it's a little heavier and I don't really notice any difference. But when I do this combo, I do, like I said, volumizing mousse at the roots, and then I put this on the ends when it's wet. So that has kind of been the biggest way I've noticed a difference, but it just makes my hair so unbelievably soft um, that I just kind of had to mention it. If you've used Moroccan oil before, you know what the smell smells like, and I think that this this has that same scent. Um, I do believe the oils that are in here are different. Of course, the ingredients are not on the bottle. They're probably in the box, which I'm sure I have tossed by now because um, I have used pretty much all of it. But anyways, I do recommend this. I don't know if I would purchase it again for the $30 price tag. But it was pretty nice. Um, I just wanted to mention it because, like I said, it made my hair super, super soft. And I believe on Birchbox it has really amazing reviews. It's just price tag-wise for me, I'm kind of like, there's other things I will use instead. I love macadamia oil and I can get a discount on that. So that's probably more what I would stick with. But I just wanted to kind of give this a mention. So that really probably could have been an honorable mention, I suppose. But... The next product is a skin and hair product, and it is actually another oil. So this is the Purity Mineral Oil for, Mineral Oil Free Facial Cleansing Oil. So earlier this month, um, and I always talk about this in my Ulta video, Ulta does, you know, points bonuses on certain product lines sometimes. So Philosophy was the one going on, and I was like, oh, I just bought Purity Cleanser, like, not that long ago. I don't really need anything. Their moisturizers are nice, but they're not my favorite. My dog is just going to bark the whole way through this video. She's downstairs, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick up on her, but it's driving me nuts. Um, anyways, five times the points. Had everything I wanted. Uh, didn't really... I'm not a huge fan of their moisturizers. They're really nice, but they're also very thick. Sometimes they kind of clog my pores a little bit because they are so thick. 
Um, and I just happened to try this out at work with some liquid lipsticks that were on the back of my hand. The Stila ones to be specific. So I was like, oh, I gotta get these swatches off. None of the makeup removers were doing a great job of getting it off. But I happened to grab this one because we have a tester of it. And I was like, mm, an oil should really break that down and work. And I just kind of loved it. And I was like, you know, I've been kind of thinking about getting a flossy product because it's five times the points and that's just really hard to pass up sometimes. So I purchased this and I've been using it pretty much consistently ever since. And as you can see, even though I've been using it a ton, still have so much product in there. Um, but basically the way I like to use this, and it's kind of weird, I know, is I take this oil and I just squirt a little bit in my hands, I rub my hands together and I rub it all over my face breaks down mascara, um, foundation, waterproof brow stuff like dip brow, just piece of cake, just so easy. Um, so this has actually been my favorite makeup remover method kind of as of lately. I do love my wipes. I do love just taking a cleanser and, you know, almost like a Clarisonic brush. Like that stuff works great, but this gets makeup off just so fast and so easy. So once I have it all broken down, I actually take a Pacifica, I think they're called Pacifica Essential Makeup Remover Wipes. And they're a little bit on the drier side, which is kind of why I picked them. So I then wipe that all over, get the excess makeup and oil off. And then I will either just kind of leave whatever's remaining on and use that like as my moisturizer. Or I will go ahead and cleanse my skin and get the remaining oil off. But it's really, really good. You're probably not supposed to leave it on. But like I said, it's just so moisturizing that sometimes I don't want to take it off. So, and I haven't experienced any issues or anything like that with leaving it on. Um, yeah, so I've just, I've really enjoyed using it that way. I don't know, like I said, if you're supposed to, but I like it that way, so that's how I use it. Um, another skincare product is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner. Um, so honestly, it's not doing any skin clearing because I do have a couple breakouts, but that is from another product that I will talk about in my unfavorites. But I like this just because if you've used anything tea tree before, you know it kind of has the like cooling, slightly tingling sensation. Um, and this just has like a nice cooling, awakening feeling on your face. So I really actually use this mostly in the morning. Um, if I have time, I wash my face. If I don't, I'm not going to lie. I just take a little cotton thing and just apply this really quick. Because there are some times where, for example, this last week I had to get up at 5 a.m. And I was like, I don't have time to clean my face because I'm too exhausted. And sleep, to me at this point, is more precious than waking up and washing my face because I am just exhausted. Um, so when that's the case, I just take a little cotton square or whatever and just quickly do this. And it just kind of helps wake you up a little bit and it just feels really nice and refreshing. So I do like this. I don't think it does much for me skin clearing benefits wise. Like... There's other acne spot treatments I've used that work way better, but I do like that tea tree is, I think it's antibacterial, um, so that does kind of make me feel a little better, bit better sometimes on the days like I don't wash my face, but I do like this. It does kind of have like a powder that sits on the bottom, so when you purchase this, you do have to like shake it up and mix it all together, and you can even see sometimes it still doesn't really mix, so you really have to shake it to get it completely mixed up, but... I do really like this. Um, I'm kind of considering repurchasing. Otherwise, I know I wanted to try the Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner. So, I don't know yet which one I'm going to repurchase. But I do really, really like that one. So, next product is some brow stuff. Uh, and this is kind of a weird combo. And I, I just shoved it in the cap, so I can't even talk about it really that much. But it's the Rimmel Professional Brow Pencil. And I was trying to finish this for... Um, my project pan and I actually finished it today because I just filled in my brows with this and I tried to fill them in a little bit differently and I kind of like the way they're filled in um, but basically I watched a couple of my videos and I was like oh my brows like I just don't understand like when I fill them in and I look at them they look arched but then when I'm uploading the video it looks like I just went straight across and down and I'm like that just really drives me nuts because in person they look arched and then like camera they don't so I don't know like do they have to be like extremely arched for them to look normal on camera like that just kind of seems weird to me but anyways this pencil I've been really enjoying I usually use it with the benefit gimme brow benefit gimme brow 
nine times out of ten what I did this month was applied this first just to kind of fill in the majority of my brow and then I would kind of fill in any sparse areas with this. It's so tiny I can't hold on to it but you can kind of see it's down in the cap. It's just very tiny now. Um, but today I actually just did it the reverse way. I filled it in with the brow pencil first and then used the Gimme Brow to kind of set things. And I really, really like it, so I am going to have to pick up another brow pencil. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up this one. I just kind of wanted to talk about this, you know, using a brow pencil and a gel over using, like, the dip brow. Um, that's kind of been my favorite this month. It just seems a little bit more natural, I guess, and I kind of... I wouldn't say it's as precise, maybe, as my dip brow. Like, I'm really good with my dip brow and like getting really precise with it. And pencil, it's a little hit or miss. I can be really precise or sometimes it's like, oh, what did I just do? I just messed up my whole brow. But using a brow gel and a pencil has been my favorite this last month. These are the two products I used. This one I'm obviously not gonna use anymore because it's done, but this I will keep using and I'll just have to get a new brow pencil. So next is eyeshadow. Um, I only have one favorite eyeshadow this month. There were a lot of palettes and things, of course, I used this month that I enjoyed. But this particular eyeshadow, I just forgot how good the formula is with these. Um, and I feel really tempted to run out and buy them all. But it is the L'Oreal Infallible. This one is an Amber Rush. I do have Iced Latte and Midnight Blue as well. Midnight Blue, I'm not even going to lie, I hardly use. It is the most gorgeous, like, blue-navy color, though. Um... And then Ice Latte, it's kind of like what I have on my lids, but more sparkly, more foiled effect. They're very similar from what I can tell to the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. Um, they just have that like wet, really metallic look to them. So that's kind of what I mean by that. I haven't actually tried the Makeup Geek foiled ones. Of course, I've seen everybody on YouTube use them though, so I, you kind of get the idea of what they're about. But that is Amber Rush. Um... I wore this on my lid and just everybody was asking, what do you have on? Because it is so pretty. And it was Amber Rush all over the lid. And then I just took a couple shadows, um, matte shadows from my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes palette. Just kind of some of the more warm ones. I did do a couple that were like a little bit more red toned, like the burgundy one. And just kind of worked that into the outer V just a little bit. Um, but that's what it looks like there. That is it swatched. It's just beautiful. So I really want to purchase like almost all of these because I love, I've been really into that kind of foiled metallic look lately, which is kind of weird for me. I'm usually more into just like a subtle shimmer or matte shadows, but I've been really into this kind of lately. So I really want to purchase some more, but I also might just suck it up and buy the Makeup Geek ones because I really hate, I don't know why I, ha I hate buying things online. I just do. So anytime I can buy something in store, I'm usually more for that. On to some lip products. Um, this one I think I've kind of talked about in my weekly makeup bag, and I'm probably not going to pronounce it right. Laka & Co. Cheeky Lip. Um, this I got in my birch box, and I was kind of like, you know, cool, another lip product. Like, I'm always about those. And then I twisted it up, and I was like, there just isn't that much product in here. That's what you get. Um, and I was kind of like, well, that just seems like a little bit of a, like a little bit of a ripoff, because the packaging is really really big so I thought I was going to get a pretty decent sized pencil and the Tarte little pencils are like this size and they have way more product in this than this does but the color on this is just so darn pretty that I have been trying to find a dupe somewhere because I've heard that this actually is the full size um yeah it's 0 0.03 ounces not the greatest. Um, but the color is so pretty that I've been trying to find something I can duplicate it with. So, I don't know. It's just a really hard to describe color for me. But it reminds me of my Summer Breeze lipstick. But Summer Breeze is definitely more cool toned. And this is warmer. So, there that is. And it's just, it's such a pretty color. And I actually really like the formula too. Because it lasts a really long time. So, Kind of want to find a dupe for that, um, but I really, I, I love it. I've worn it like three times the week that I had it in my weekly makeup bag. I wore it like three times. So there is that. The other lip product favorite is the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Um, I couldn't not talk about these again because they're my favorite and because I 
have an addiction problem. So today, this that I have on is bow and arrow. I think it's stunning. I cannot get over how much I actually like this one because it is brown. Um, it's a lighter brown jade, but I'm just a little surprised that I like it so much because usually I lean towards the like mauvier shades, the mauve brown ones, the pink browns, you know, something that's got a hint of something else in it. Whereas this, I feel like is pretty, it's pretty brown, but I really, really like it. Um, it's just kind of been one of my favorites. The other one I think I had in my, one of my weekly makeup bag videos was Mother. This is just, this is everything. This color is amazing. I love this one. Um, then I have these colors, which I've tried on, but I haven't necessarily like worn them like all day yet. Um, so I have Echo, which is a pretty, like this is a really pretty dark blue. Once it dries, I think it looks maybe, I don't know. Once it dries, I always feel like it's a smidge more wearable than what I think it's going to be. So if you look at it and you're like, oh, it looks black. It's, I promise you it's not. Once you put it on, it is blue. Um, my boyfriend actually talked me into this one, which is surprising. He's supporting me buying makeup purchases. Um, this one is Exorcism. It is just this really gorgeous, dark, vampy red color. Um, I also have NYX's Copenhagen, and it is just very splotchy and uneven. So I kind of bought this one thinking I'm just going to get rid of Copenhagen because I'm tired of messing with it. Um, and the Kat Von D formula is just so fantastic. It just applies so nicely. It lasts so long. It doesn't make my lips feel super dried out. I did dot on just a tiny bit of my EOS balm today, but it just feels super, super comfortable in my opinion for being a, la a matte lip liquid lipstick. So I also have Double Dare. This one I'm really excited to wear. My camera is making it pick up really red, but it is kind of more of a red toned brown I would say. Um, I really wanted to pick up Colourpop's Tool and Bumble and I feel like this shade is pretty close to kind of both of those so I didn't um, but I'm excited to wear Double Dare. I have the infamous Lolita. Um, this one on me looks very brown. I'm going to have to keep trying this one out. This is the only one that I'm not 100% with which is sad because it's Lolita and it was hard to get my hands on. Um, and then there's Aisha. This one I am dying to wear too. I think I'm probably going to wear this like October-ish because it's just, it's pretty. Um, and I don't know why, but it just makes me think of like fall. <laughs> but this is Aisha. It's just a really pretty purple color. So I wanted to talk about those just because I love the colors. I love the names. I love the formula. I just love pretty much everything about them. So that is that. Um, I, like I said, I don't really have too many honorable mentions. I might kind of talk about that at the end. One unfavorite though I do want to talk about, and I just did my um, foundation inventory, and now I've kind of changed things around just a slight bit, so I'll talk about that now. The Lorac Perfection Foundation. So I worn this once, and I liked it, and I was like, yeah, it's a nice foundation. I'm not crazy about it, um, but it's not a horrible foundation. What is my hair just doing? Mm. Um, anyways. It's a nice foundation. I don't love it, um, but I didn't hate it either. And I was like, well, I'll just use it up and pan it and just kind of tell myself, eh, if you're looking for a decent foundation, go ahead and get this one. Otherwise, yeah. But I wore it the other, well, I started to get breakouts after I wore it. And I didn't really think anything of it because I am kind of constantly changing what I use. So when I have a weekly makeup basket, you will see I usually have two or three foundations in here at a time. And I just kind of wore this once and was like, oh, it's a nice foundation. I started to get some breakouts, didn't really think too much of it, um, and then I applied it a little thicker and a little bit heavier when I wore it a couple days ago, and just now I have breakouts and stuff. Um, there's some here. I had a couple ones on my forehead that were very, very small. There's one somewhere else on my face. I don't remember. Um, and I haven't worn this for two days now, and the breakups are finally starting the breakouts are finally starting to clear up. So I'm thinking that this could be the cause of it, um, but I just decided I'm going to return it and just not run the risk of it. So I am returning this. It's kind of an unfavorite for that reason. I think it's a nice foundation if it works for you, but it just, I don't think it worked out for me. So there's that. Um, that was my only unfavorite. So I'll kind of talk about honorable mentions just quick, I guess. 
So I placed a color pop order and I placed it and then everybody was talking about the fall collection and I'll get into that a little bit too. But I am those are kind of my honorable mentions because I was looking for the really glittery shades. So I purchased Tassel, which is like a white color. Um, I got that just as an, to use as an inner corner highlight because since I'm so fair, I usually have to have something pretty bright to be an actual inner corner highlight. Um, today I have like a pop beauty eyeshadow on in the inner corner. Don't look at this wing because this is my bad one. This is the good one. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I have that on as an inner corner, but I got Tassel. I got I Heart This just because that's, you know, one of their best-selling ones, I would say. And then I got Millionaire because that one looked really glittery, too. I don't know why, but I've been really into glittery shadows lately. So I purchased those three. Um, I got Brink Lippy, like the actual lipstick, and then I got the pencil. I got Feminist Lip Pencil, I think it is. It's the really dark purple one to go with um, my Too Faced Melted Villain. And I think... NYX Black Dahlia too, that high voltage lipstick. I got that pencil to kind of pair with those. And then I also got a couple liquid lipsticks. Um, and this is kind of why I wanted to mention ColourPop. I bought two liquid lipsticks. I'm not going to lie, I felt way tempted to buy more of them. But I don't want to buy more because the reviews are so all over the place. Um, everything from I love them, they're my favorite formula, to... I don't understand this is just a huge waste of time because it's patchy and the packaging sucks and this and this and this. So I've just heard it from all over the place and I was like, you know, really the only way I'm going to know whether I like these or not is if I buy them and I try them because um, I just tried to get an idea of whether I was going to like them or not. And most of the YouTubers that I, I watched, they liked them for the most part, but I did see a couple people that like you know, packaging wise, the product would ooze out from like around the top where the cap is. Um, or a couple people said that their silver like color pop part already ran like rubbed off on it. Um, they're super dry, they're patchy, like those are just kind of the bad things I've heard about them. So I'm just gonna have to see, but if you guys have an experience with the color pop ultra matte liquid lipsticks, kind of let me know, I guess. I'm excited to get them, but I just, I know color pop is very kind of bogged down right now with orders so I know it's going to take a long time to get here so if you guys have any kind of opinions on those let me know I know I got beeper and I think I got trap I think those are the two I got because I was like oh they're really pretty and they're colors I want so <laughs> those are the two I got um kind of another unfavorite is the ColourPop fall collection I looked at it and it is stunning. I want so many of the eyeshadows. I want so many of the liquid, or not the liquid lipsticks, the lip, the lippy sticks. Um, I wasn't crazy about the blushes. I'm just not, I don't know, I'm not a fan of cream blushes, so I don't really think I would go towards ColourPop for blushes. But I wanted a lot of the eyeshadows and I wanted a lot of the lippy sticks. And there was a couple like unconfirmed days that they was going to launch on the 27th, which is today. And I was like, perfect, I have the day off, like I might actually be able to get something because people are so excited about this collection that I just like, it's gonna be like the ultra matte liquid lipsticks, it's gonna sell out really fast, their website's gonna crash, it's just gonna be, you know, it's just gonna suck. Um, and then ColourPop said, no, it's not launching t tomorrow, we'll let you know. And I'm just like, why can't you just let us know now? Because that's really, in my opinion, kind of frustrating. It's driving me crazy that it's like, it's launching the last week of August and today is the 27th and it's like when is it launching you know you don't really have that many days left why can't we just get a release date because it's kind of I don't know maybe this is just me I just think it's annoying um but yeah I was like I really want grunge and I want oh snap I kind of want contempo just to see if that's like maybe a dupe for this um and I wanted mixtape party time and supermodel I think we're like the I wanted three shadows and then three lippy sticks and I was thinking about getting the corresponding like lip liners too I'm not really sure yet but I'm just like can we just get a release date please because I'm probably gonna have to work and I'm probably gonna miss out on all of it and that's gonna make me mad so mm. anyways that is it I am done rambling um I think I'm going to do an inventory video next because I am trying to film like three or four videos today because I know that I work 
Well, today's Thursday. Um, I know I work tomorrow and I know I work Saturday, but after that I have no idea what my schedule is just because I don't know what store I'm working at. I don't know if I'm working at my old store or my new store or what's going on. So I'm trying to film a bunch of videos just to kind of in case to hold things over until my next day off to film stuff. Um, but I think instead of doing the Ulta video, I am going to do another inventory video. I want to do the Ulta video, but I want to do it when I'm excited to do it and I just... I don't know why. I haven't felt very excited or motivated to film that one lately. I've been really wanting to do the inventory ones. So I think I'm going to do those. I'm hoping you guys are okay with waiting just a little while longer on the Ulta one. Um, I will have it up soon. I just, like I said, I want to film it when I feel motivated to film it. And right now I've just been very motivated to film the inventory ones. So that is just kind of where that is at. Um, and again, thank you for listening to me ramble and I will see you guys next time. Bye.